Welcome back. I wanted to show you a little different crop this time around. These videos are brought to you in part by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are TrueAquaponics.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, GlassBottleOutlet.com, and GrowPockets.com. Thanks for your support. Every fall, the uh, water temperature drops in here since I don't heat it. Now, during the summer, it can be 70 degrees or so. Um, and then once it goes down below 55, maybe 60, I start getting a string algae growing in this open area where I just don't have any rafts. At first I thought it was going to be a problem, but now I actually harvest it and use it elsewhere. I wanted to show you this quick graph of the temperatures in the greenhouse over the last two months where it shows the high and low air temperature inside along with the water temperature with this pink line here. So you can see in October the temperature was around 70 degrees and now it's been floating at about uh, 45 degrees or so uh, for the last week or two. It of course grows best where the nutrient rich water is coming into this uh, grow bed and all I have to do is just drag my hand through it and pull out a good lump of it and I just set it on this plastic to let it dry out a little bit more and it will solidify somewhat into a patty. So about once a month I can take out a whole bunch of it. After it solidifies a little bit I can peel it off with a plastic and I have this algae patty. It's still fairly soft and then I find a nice spot where I can hang it and let it dry out and get nice and crispy. During the winter in the dome greenhouse I keep this Pleco algae eater. I pull him out of the other tank and put him in this one and keep his water heated to about 60 degrees. That's just enough to keep him alive and a little bit uh, sluggish so he doesn't eat a whole lot but you can see he's keeping this tank nice and clean and then every so often I take one of these algae patties and throw it in there for him. Over a little bit of time it will take there and sink down and it will disappear in a couple of days. This graph shows the conditions in the dome greenhouse uh, this dark blue line is the water temp for the fish themselves the light blue line is the air temperature and this green line is the water temperature for the pleco. So you can see why uh, we keep him isolated during the winter. And then these red lines are the actual relay uh, turning on and off the uh, heater unit for the uh, pleco heater. So that's about it. Just a quick and dirty way of getting a little bit of free food for my pleco during the winter. Thanks for watching.